cable construction and cable selection. So I want to share you this document team. So please go uh, read this. So generally, we, I, I'm, I want to just give a glance over here, but I want to you guys to read uh, each and every uh, section of this. So you then you can get a better understanding of uh, the cable one. So uh, let's focus on the main things. So in the cable, we can see this art stream like conductor, conductor screen, the filler and binding tapes, insulation, insulation screen, and separation tape, bedding, which we will call the inner sheet, and metal metallic sheet, armor, outer sheet, water blocking tapes, and insulation tapes. So uh, this is the part. This is the cable construction. So these parts of the cable, suppose the conductor is a general core material, right? So it is applicable for all voltage classes. But if you are looking for the conductor screen, which is coming on the top of the conductor, which is generally a extruded semiconductor compounding material, which is generally to make a uniformity on the voltage stresses across the cable, and the filler and binding tapes are also applicable for all the voltage classes of the cable. And this is applicable. This is this are the functionality of this to make a, a good shape of the cable, to make a good shape of circular cable. If I am having a, some uh, segmented cable or a sub three core cable kind of thing. And the insulation, this you already know that it's providing a core insulation. This is also applicable for all voltage classes. And this insulation could be a, a cross-linker polyethylene or could be a polyvinyl chloride, which is a PVC component. And the insulation screen, it's also applic it's only applicable for medium voltage and high tension cables. Uh, this is also a, like, it's the same like a conductor screen. And the separation tape on the on bedding, metallical sheet will be there for <coughs> And armoring to get to give a good uh, mecha, mechanical strength for the cable and outer sheet. Uh, again, this is a, some insulation which is a PVC. Obviously, it's only a PVC. The yeah. outer sheet and water blocking tapes to uh, free uh, the cable from the moisturizer or any water things and insulation tapes just for the uh, when I'm, when any person digging that uh, ground. So we need to give some insulation to that. So that's a kind of insulation tape on the top of that you can see. So if you just want to look into the each and every part uh, in a detail, so how the functionality, everything, I recommend you to please go through this book team, uh, this uh, material, I am sharing you this. So in this, you can see that the conductor, what is the code for this and the material of that and where we need to use this, what is the purpose? So when the circular conductor will come, when the segmental conductor will come and at what temperature it, it is actually required. So everything was detailed in this. Suppose the conductor skin, what is the purpose of this? The main purpose of the conductor skin is to maintain the uniformly divergent electrical field and to contain electric field within the quick cable core. So everything was mentioned here. So this is a, a good one uh, to read. I will, I suggest you to please go through this uh, so you can get a, a good understanding of all and each and every part and uh, which standard you have to refer when you are looking into this. Those, those are very useful for us. And uh, what are the different types of metallical stain? What is the advantage and the disadvantages? Where to go for armoring, where not? So everything was there. And you can see some comparison of the cables like a, uh, what is the comparison of PVC cable to XLP cable? Where XLP cable to be used? So everything was there. And the cable selection, voltage class, current carrying capacity, and types method of installation, whether you go going for a shielded or unshielded cable. So everything was mentioned here. So I request you to please go through this document. Uh, you will get a good idea of how to uh, select the cable, how to select that cable. Now, the selection part is this. So when you know about the detail view of the cable, the cross-sectional and the type of the material, so that gives you the selection of the cable. And the next one is the sizing of the cable. So sizing of the cable we are discussing now. 
the sizing of the cable uh, will be done with, uh, with three things. One is the amperage calculation, other one is soft circuit calculation, and other one is the voltage drop. So this will tell the size of the cable required. Uh, the document tells us the selection of the cable is required. And some other things we need discussing in next, that will tell us how to lay this cable. What are the supports? What are the things we require when you are laying the cable? So this whole today's lecture will give you a view on how to select the cable, how to size the cable, how to install the cable. <coughs> So the total cable uh, thing will be covered in our today's session.